Hey everyone, so I've been thinking to myself in the past few days that I wanted to record a video. And what I mean by recording a video is that I wanted to share something with you guys that I've been getting through my head for the past few years that I had. And recently that I still have that moment since today and I'm about to tell you right now. It's been nearly four years since that event happened, but I'm about to tell you right now. And this is a story of the time that I suffered from appendicitis. That actually happened four years ago. So I'm going to tell you the whole story about what happened before I started a YouTube channel. So around evening of May 2013, I seemingly get get like stomach ache pains, which basically you guys do like if you get like a stomach ache or something like that. But um, it happened around a Saturday evening. And I recently don't complain from a stomach pain, but um, I usually get it like maybe around here perhaps. But um, I told my mom that my stomach ache, like I got a, like a stomach ache or something, and she told me to take ibuprofen, which is like um, a pain relief, like like from pills or something like that. And um, she told me to like take it for the evening and hoping it'll feel better. And this happened the day before I went to church. And then the day of the church, which is the day before Memorial Day, as soon as I woke up in the morning, I recently started to get, like, a lot of pain. Like, I got, like, so much pain around my stomach. Like, I've been getting it, like, around here, perhaps, which is, like, up around my upper stomach. And I tell you that I was in a lot of pain for a really long time. And it was not that good. So... Around church, like during the Sunday school church, I would think I was realized that I was starting to get nauseous, and I realized that I wasn't feeling good, and I started to like threw up at the point, and and the pain was still there, and I tell you it was not like the best time. So my mom took me to the hospital, which is the emergency room, and we got there as fast as we can. And they about to find out what was wrong with me. And I just tell you, like, it was one of the worst experiences that I've ever had, like, during the pain and something like that. And it feels like I have never felt like this way before. It felt like the worst one, like, the, the, the worst experiences or something like that. And they put you in a hospital bed and with a hospital gown or something like that if you're, like, in pain or you weren't feeling good or something like that. And they give you, like, a pain rate. Like, for example, if you're, like, in a lot of pain, like, if it is scale from 1 to 10, how hurt are you, like, from pain or something like that, from your head to toe or something like that. And me personally, I would say, I'm, I, I was saying a 9 for the pain because um, I don't even know what I said at the time. And then during my um, hospital visit, I was getting nauseous and I started throwing up at the point and I tell you it was like um, I wasn't feeling good like um, I just started to get like what is it get tired or something like that and what the nurses did they gave you the cold stuff on your hand before they give you the IV in your hand normally they would do it like around the the arm or something like that when they put the IV in your hand but um, they did it around the hand so that way they would tap on it so that way they would like get the vein in your hand and they put the cold stuff in first so that way I won't feel the numbness and then they put the IV on my hand which is basically I didn't move my hand around for a day because of the IV and recently that it I didn't like cry at all I, I, I didn't cry like during the needles like the IV or something like that but um, they gave me a little squeeze ball to relieve all the stresses, like there's something like that, and it'll go away. But um, they have like this little tube which will attach to the fluids, like um, that will pump right to your hand, so that way the fluids will get like into you. And I was like in such pain, and it started to like doze off, like like starting to pass out or something, and. Recently, it wasn't that good. So, like, maybe a few hours later, they took me to an ultrasound, and 
they found out what was wrong with me. And if you don't know what the ultrasound is, it's basically where you're in this dark room and they would take um, a little something here and they would put a little bit of lotion or something like that and they would look at your stomach, like for example if you're pregnant or something like that, they would look at your stomach, but they looked at my lower stomach and around my stomach and it, it was like looking through like a picture of like a stomach and they don't know what's wrong with it or something like that. And then after the ultrasound they found out what was wrong with me. They found out that it was my appendix that it was starting to cause all the pain. At first I thought it was a kidney infection. I think that's what my mom said. But um, they found out it was my appendix that recently, that, that flipped upside down. It was like horrible. Like it flipped upside down. It was like one of the like worst experiences that I've ever had in my entire life. Like um, even though that I was so scared that they said the only way to get that out is that you had to get surgery for that to get that done. And I realized it was one of my first surgeries that I ever had. But um, this is what this was this was my first. And I realized that I was so scared that I never gotten surgery before. Like it was the emergency surgery that I usually had. So they did the surgery, they got the appendix out, but the main question is, did it burst before the surgery? And you guys are about to be shocked by this. No, it did not burst before the surgery. And thank this, I am a survivor and even though that I stay in the hospital for over a day. and. This happened to my friend once, and um, her appendix ruptured even before she went to the hospital. And we were close friends, like from elementary school, but we haven't seen each other since, like maybe, what is it, 2011 or something like that, 2010 or yeah, let's just say 2010 or 11 that we he haven't seen each other since. After my surgery, it was success, and. They put me in a hospital room with another hospital mate and I was like a little bit like concerned about that a moment where I was just like, you know what, even though the surgery wasn't that bad, even though that this won't affect me. But um, the nurses and the doctors found out that um, I can't do anything fun or extreme for the week and fun. And this is like one of the saddest moments because um, it actually happened like on a memorial week which is Memorial Day where you have no school or something like that. But this is the exact week that I was supposed to do fun day with my school and go to Six Flags with them. Which is recently, I don't want that to happen because um, this is recently one of the most unexpected surgeries that I had to get because um, it's my body that's um doing all sorts of things that's happening with my appendix and I stayed at the hospital for maybe over a day. I did not go to school for a whole week so that's good news. But I was still disappointed that I didn't get to do all fun things for a week and I realized that it wasn't that good at all because of my surgery. I can't go to school for a week. I can't do any fun things for a week. I just had to recover for two weeks and let's just see how it all went out to see if um and the thing is I can't even walk like um I can barely walk because of my um st because I'm stitched up by the surgery where I got stitches up in my lower stomach and around my belly button and that's where they got the appendix out and it didn't burst at all thank god and if it, if it did burst I would have like stayed at the hospital for nearly a week. Two weeks later I went for a doctor visit and they like recently checked my stomach to see if I was okay and they were just about to check it and see if it was okay and fun fact it did tickle because um, that happened when I was around 14 years old at the time and it recently it didn't hurt at all so the doctor says I am good as new and I can do whatever I want like um basically I can do fun things now now that my recovery is over I can go back to do whatever I'm doing and recently that I will still continue on to do stuff like that so this is the story of my appendicitis adventure and I hope you guys enjoyed that video 
And let me know in the comments below if you ever had appendicitis or if you have any other ideas like that. Let me know in the comments below to see how, how would you feel about that. And if you never had surgery before, then um, that's great. If you did have surgery before, what did you have on? And let me know in the comments below. And I would like show love and support to all of you if you're getting surgery or had surgery before and hopefully that um, it'll turn out well for you. If you suffer from appendicitis, don't worry. Just be fine. Like, um, just don't think of bad things. Just think of good things. And recently, that hoping it'll stay okay. So, thank you so much for watching. There's more videos coming tomorrow night.